How you doing, folks? Well, I'm over in the test cell here with a 131-9A, which I previously did a uh, commentary on. You just heard the fuel pump turn on, which is the fuel boost pump. That's the igniter firing there now. And we're about to see this beast start. So it's all connected up there now with various sensors, um, exhaust gas temperature, inlet temperature, bleed air temperature, generator uh, power supply, starter clicks in there now, and you won't hear much of me after this point. I put my ear defenders on. Okay, so obviously it is earth-shatteringly loud in there, so uh, there's no way you were going to be able to hear any running commentary while I was in there. But uh, we're here at the controls anyway, um, we have our um, ARINC readout, which is the raw data from the ECU. We have the manuals here, um, we have the um, ASE 2000 computer system here. And this is what we're using to control it. Behind me is a rack load of programmable logic controllers, the ECB for the engine, um, various different computers and uh, power supplies and control hardware for operating the engine. So um, at the moment the APU is on idle. Now you'll see there, there's the engine speed. Idle still stays at 100% RPM and that's 48,800 RPM. You have your oil pressure, oil temperature, uh, exhaust gas temperature average, Cell boost, which is the fuel pressure, bleed orifice inlet, which is the temperature of the uh, the bleed air uh, going up to the measurement orifice, vibrations, gearbox uh, gearbox differential pressure, and then uh, position of various different valves. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a load on the engine. Okay, so um, first of all, we're going to open our bleed valve, and if you listen, you'll hear the note of the engine change. So there's now a pneumatic load on the engine, but there's no mode selected. So what we're going to do here is over on this screen, first of all, we're going to select our performance page so we can see how the engine is performing. And we're going to go back over here and we're going to select a mode, in this case, environmental control system, which is uh, here. And it is now in ECS mode, which is the mode used for running the air conditioning packs on the aircraft. So now we get a readout on the performance page, which is different. We have the ble uh, corrected bleed flow, uh, cor uh, corrected bleed pressure, exhaust gas temperature, uh, corrected exhaust gas temperature. Uh, that's a uh, corrected flow and bleed temperature. This figure here is what we use for actually taking our measurements. Um, well, it's, it's the figure we use for setting everything up for the measurements. And then we have fuel flow as well. At the moment, it's using 227 pounds per hour of fuel. I'm going to stick a generator load on it at the moment. So, uh, load bank on, load bank fan on. We'll pull that down and we'll start nice and low and we'll bring it up gradually. You can, of course, just drop a load onto it, but um, which is pretty much what the aircraft does. So, turn our load on and there we go. So now the engine is going to be generating in around 83 kilowatts of electrical power plus uh, a serious amount of bleed air as well too. So um, the engine's probably not running far off. It's a uh, it's uh, rated uh, equivalent horsepower output of about 600 shaft horsepower. So um, yeah, you can see they they spin very fast, but they do a lot of work and they can do this work for a long, long time. They last quite a long time and they are uh, they're a fairly hardy engine. So um, yeah, and now I'm going to put it through its performance tests. Uh, following the manual as well too, making sure that we uh, cover everything that needs to be covered and if everything passes, which to be honest with you from what I've seen in this engine so far there's no reason why I think it shouldn't, we will uh, sign it off as serviceable and release it to service. 
So um, this is actually a, a lease engine belonging to uh, this company. So um, we'll be sending it back out for a new lease. Um, so this isn't actually specifically a customer engine. But um, anyway, I'll leave it there. And um, yeah, we'll. Uh, uh, thanks very much for watching. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will keep you updated uh, and uh, show you a few more bits and pieces um, over the next while. Just as an added bonus, one of the things I like about the 1319A is when you offload it, the noise it makes, it does sound pretty cool. Yeah. There it's on pneumatic load at the moment, and I'll click the bleed valve off, and uh, it will depressurize by opening the surge valve. So what you hear initially is the bleed valve closing, the surge valve opening, and the inlet guide vanes closing off, and it goes back into idle from that position.